Now, I'm going to give you a function called f of x, and very importantly, this function, um, f of x is equal to 3. Now, I need you to look at what this function looks like. Um, if we consider this function, let's just get up the graphing calculator. y equals 3, what type of function is it? It's a straight line, right? It's a line, but more specifically, what type of straight line? Linear. Oh, yeah. yeah, all lines are linear, by the way. Y equals 3. So you, uh, the, if you look at this curve, X equals three. Y equals 3. As you can see here, this is the curve of Y equals 3, right? Basically, it means the Y value is always 3 no matter what the x value is. So if you choose any point on that line, if you take a line y equals 3, that's simply just the line where these are my axes, that's the line, that's y equals 3. Do you see that? So if you take negative 1 on the x, that point over there is negative 1 on the x, but still 3 on the y. This point over here is minus 5 on the x, but still 3 on the y. Now remember the gradient. Remember the derivative is a formula for the gradient. It tells you what is the steepness of the curve. Now, if you look at this curve over here, this line, this straight line, how steep is it? There's no steepness, right? So you know that the gradient of this line should be 0 because it's y equals mx plus c. The y-intercept here is equal to 3, right? But there's no steepness, so 0x plus 3. Okay. So let's go back to what that curve should look like. f of x equals 3... So clearly you can see this curve is not dependent on x. In other words, if you change the x value, it's not going to do anything to the y value. So that's why we're saying this curve is not dependent on x, right? It's not dependent on an input no matter what the input is. Okay. So f of x, as we can see, f of x equals 3 is a linear curve. More specifically, it's a horizontal line with a gradient equal to zero. And what we've seen now also is that this curve is not dependent on x, right? No matter what x value you put in. So what do you think f of x plus h will equal? f of x will equal 3. f of x plus h will also equal to 3. Now we just go and we evaluate the derivative, which is f prime of x is equal to the limit as h tends to zero you guys should say this so that you engrave a neural pattern and then you should write it as well of f of x plus h minus f of x right all over h right so this is equal to the limit as h tends to naught now do you see f of x plus h i'm going to replace that with a blue curve you see just so you guys can see the relationship see sa okay minus and this i'm going to replace with sky blue Okay, divided by h. And what's h there? Just h, right? Now, when you want to substitute this, you can even go further before even substituting a value in there. I've got the limit as h tends to naught of 0 over h. Now, before you even evaluate that, this is 0. Okay. So, and you also know that the derivative here, f prime of x for this function, should have equal to 0 because that's a constant term. Okay, there we go. That's example number 2.